Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Really good. Thank you. Um, I am very glad to be here, to have the chance to see you again and to be with the group once again. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Jorge, Mr. Jose Carlos, Olga, and all the ones that are going to connect in a moment. I am we are, very we glad to have time. you here. Yes, you are on time. That's very, that's very good. It is always important to be on time. That it's a very good uh, quality of a person. Could be a problem too. Um, yes. Well, depending on the country you are, because here, here in El Salvador, it's like kind of complicated to be punctual because uh, people think that being on time, it's being punctual and that it's not. I think when you are punctual, you are like five or 10 minutes before the events. And then you are punctual. When you are at the exact time, you are kind of late. The, the law of the 15. <laughs> yeah, the law of the 15 <laughs> minutes, definitely. It, it applies. It applies here, but in some cases here in the country, it's not 15 minutes. It is like, I am arriving, they say. And it's like one hour. <laughs> that they are missing to get the, to the places. But the teacher didn't come. Past uh -huh, they say, they, uh, at the university, that's a very common thing at the university when they say, no, the teacher is not here and they leave. And as soon as they are going <laughs> to the door, the teacher arrives and it's like, what are you going? Go back. <laughs> ready to exam. Uh -huh, ready with the, with the photocopies on the hand. <laughs> okay, hello, Danny, how are you? Hey, teacher. Good you look evening. tired. <laughs> oh, look at Jose Carlos. Yeah. He has yeah. his it baby. The, <laughs> the what? It's just, it's just the work. I, I know it's very difficult to have the complete day and then to study and everything, but it is really admirable at the same time. Hello, Jose Carlos, you have a visitor in your in your class. <laughs> what a beautiful girl. Yes. Hello. Yes, her name is Eliet. Eliet. Double, yeah, double T, E, and the N. Hey, that's nice. What a beautiful name. Hello, Eliet. Hello, say hello. Yeah. yeah, say hello. Hello, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> She's very beautiful. Hey, hello, Olga. How are you? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, dude, she can be there with you. Don't worry. Hello, Olguita. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Uh, my day was so funny. Really? And so busy, yeah. It was busy, busy was and fun. My, yes, my partner, uh, uh, ha, ha, mm -hmm. your, your ah, it was a, a, it's a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, I say my partner had her birthday today. Okay, or you partner. can... Uh -huh. her birthday today and and she was very uh, 
Eh, agradecida. Thankful. Thankful. With your with her co-workers. Hey, um, that's pretty nice. And the, the work is was very busy for me. So you were busy because you were celebrating, you were working, mm -hmm. you were attending people and everything. So those mm -hmm. days are yes. very beautiful when they are very busy. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> because uh, for you. sure you ate cake as well. That's also important. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, hello Nelson, Rosy, Silvia, Mr. Juan, Mr. Manuel, who's kind of busy, but welcome to the class. And for sure, today we are going to be working a little bit on the practice of the seven R's that we studied yesterday. We are going to study a little bit of um, phrases for un uncertainty, and we're going to do a lot of speaking practice, okay? We are going to be working a lot. We're going to work in couples, in groups. We're going to work a lot today. So we hope we have a fantastic class, and I really thank you for being here today. Let's go and share. Let me see. Okay, I am going to share my screen with everybody. Here I go. And we're going to start. There we go. Today is our class number seven. And for sure, yesterday we were talking about what? What were we talking about yesterday, my dear class? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, seven good evening. Hours. The seven R's. The seven R's of R's. Logistics. logistics. Right, we were talking about the seven R's of logistics. I sent you today a little picture about the seven R's, right? I sent you um, all of them organized. Do you remember what are some of the seven R's in logistics? Right, Christ. The right product. The right price, the right product. The right, the right customer. The right customer and the right, right condition. condition. And right. the right quantity. Yes, the right quantity as well. The right place. And the right place, right? Great. So that is what we were talking about yesterday in class. And for sure we were talking about problem solving, right? There were having some issues in the conversation. Right? There was a problem that they were trying to solve. Do you remember what was the problem about? On the conversation that we started yesterday? With Pam. Uh -huh. It's exactly I right. I just remember the name. <laughs> Pam and Alex. Yes. And the main problem of this conversation was? The batteries are damaged. The batteries were damaged, right? The batteries were damaged and the sales for sure were going to go down no. this no. month. Okay, so that was one of the main issues of uh, the situation. Was Pam a very good leader in the conversation or was she a bad leader at the moment of solving the problem? Pam um, was the leader. Aha, uh -huh. Pam was the leader, but was yes. she a good one or a bad one? Good one. She was a good one. Why yes. do you think she was a good leader? Or what do you think she was a good head of the department? Because, because she stayed yeah. home. She stayed she home. A soul. She, she, what is the past she, tense? She tried she, to resolve. The she gave a soul. She gave a, a soul. So, a so, solution. She gave a solution, right? She gave a solution to the situation, right? She solved the problem, right? She solved the problem and she gave a solution to it. Good, very good. Personally. She was? She called personally. She called the person, okay? She called them personally, right? To solve the situation. Very good. And for sure, 
the coworker was a little bit happy or nervous about sharing the situation. Nervous. He was a little nervous, bit nervous. nervous and worried. He was nervous and worried, right? He was nervous and worried because for sure it might be something not really beneficial for him and also for the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also the yeah. products were not delivered. The right the pro exactly. The products, the products were not delivered. And that was another problem, right? Because the customer was supposed to receive it, right? Very nice. Okay, my dear class, very good job. That was a very good catch up of what we did yesterday. So let's work on this one, right? Remember, my dear students, practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time during the complete class. I have 14 participants already, that's pretty good. And for sure, if we are not using the microphones, keep them off attend all your sessions on time. Remember that you need to have 80% or more for you to accomplish your module without any difficulty. Remember to work on the platform as well and keep a cooperative attitude during class. If you need help, Remember that we are there on the WhatsApp group. The WhatsApp group, it's also available for you to practice. If you find any information that it's good, that it's beneficial, that you want to share, go ahead and do it, right? I really thank uh, Manuel that is uh, sharing a lot of information there on the group, right? We really appreciate it. So. In any case, if you find any type of link, uh, information, video, practice, app, whatever thing that might help you improve your English, go ahead and share it, right? It is very important that if it helps you, it can help someone else in the group, okay? And for sure, you can also share there. You can also share pieces of advice. It can be like, hey, people, I did this and this, and I, it's working for me. Okay, si hay alguna cosa que a ustedes les esté sirviendo en su aprendizaje del idioma inglés, compartanlo, okay? And for sure, if you want to practice your English as well, send a voice note, okay? Ahí mándenos notas de voz en inglés. <laughs> so we can answer and we can interact. It's good. Right? The idea is that we get together and practice, okay? So yesterday we were working on the seven R's and I asked a couple of you about some highlights of your day. I am going to um, ask one more. I am going to ask Miss uh, Norma Carolina. Can you tell me a little bit about your day, Norma? And yes, teacher, I, I am a little... Uh, you are a little... Uh, pesado? Ah, it was heavy. It was yes. heavy. Yes, I am. I think uh, problems with the connection. Um, oh. Yeah, um, two days and the same uh, situation. And um, tomorrow uh, continue. With, oh my god uh, the problem <laughs> with claro oh my god <laughs> well <laughs> uh, yeah that's a very common situation here in our country <laughs> yes i think yes. um yes the connectivity we have it's very complicated and mostly when it is at work it is double the job so thank you norma for sharing about your day and i am going to ask silvia suleima silvia how was your day Uh, good, good evening, teacher. Hello. Mm, my day was very, very normal. Was normal. I ha I yes I I was working in my office and I visited different um place. Places? For example. Uh, CNA, Reserve Class, So you were working a lot today? 
And Mr. Danny, you look tired today. How was your day today? Um, yes, uh, um, wake me up at uh, 5 a.m. I, I go into a... Uh, um, uh, I dejar a mi mamá temprano. Ah, I and... took my mother to her work. Mm -hmm. I took my mother to her work. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I go into uh, the work. Uh, I went and... to work. I went to work. I went to work. Okay. And, uh... Uh, only that. Only that. Okay, good. Very only good. That. <laughs> only that. I was like, only that. <laughs> very nice. Thank you, Danny. Thank you very much. I know all of you might be a little bit tired, but let me tell you a little bit, a little anecdote about a student that I had in the previous modules. I was working with the with the open courses, and there was one student who was a Salvadorian, but who was from France. And he was in, in, in France at the moment. Uh, I think he was in London. But uh, the thing is that there, it was four in the morning at the time of the class. And so when we used to go to bed, when I said like, hi, bye bye, have a good night. He was going to work <laughs> because we were on the other side of the world. Right, so it is a it is a very nice thing on which you want to continue with your life when you want to continue getting more things in life and you do these efforts like the ones that you are doing right now. Okay, so congratulations for being here. Todos son unos campeones por estar aquí. <laughs> Even at night and with a piece of dinner like here, right? <laughs> Con la cena por aquí. <laughs> but you are here. Okay, good. So let's continue working. Thank you. We talk a little bit about what we did yesterday. We talk about the, the different seven arts and we were clarifying and we were catching up with what we did, right? And for sure, this was the image that I sent you today uh, on the WhatsApp group, right? The seven arts of logistics management, the concept of the seven arts drives logistics management. That is delivering the right product to the right customer in the right condition, in the right quantity, at the right place, at the right time, and for the right price. So you see the chain of importance, right? The most important thing is the right product for the right customer in the best conditions with the, for sure, the packed quantity at the right place, at the right time, and for sure, at the right price. Those were the seven R's and get familiar with them because we are going to use them along the class today, okay? We are going to call the attendance for you to uh, start working. And let me see today, I am going to, let me see. Let me see. Here it is. Today is July 12th, right? Let's call the attendance. Carolina Yamilet. Carolina, are you here? Carito. One, two, three, four. No. Okay. Let's continue. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Ah, today is Tuesday. She enters a little bit later. Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Mr. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva. Okay, I see María Genoveva. There you go. Present, you say. Miguel Ángel. 
Present. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Rosita Beatriz. Ok. Ok, ok. Let me see. Ah, yeah. I saw you already. There you go. Eh, yeah. Silvia Suleiva. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Tati. Ok. Bill Maivet. Present teacher. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Present teacher. Thank you. Today I have the one on one with Jose Rodrigo, and if he doesn't connect, I am going to attend Juan de Dios, okay? So if Mr. Rodrigo doesn't appear, we're going to stay with Juan de Dios for the one-on-one -on -one and we're going to have this moment for us to share, okay? Present. Hello, Omar, welcome. There you go, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Was like on the last second there. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Omar. Okay, my dear class, let's continue then with what we were doing. Here we go. Here it is. Thank you very much. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good. Yes. Great. So, Right now, what we are going to do, we are going to work in couples. We are going to work in couples and you are going to discuss with your couple the following thing. I have here what we are going to do. You are going to think about your own experience as a customer, right? We are going to choose three of the seven R's and discuss why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer. With your couple, you are going to choose three of these seven R's, and you are going to tell me why are they so important for the customer, okay? You are going to discuss first your experience as a customer receiving all these rights, and you have to choose three, right? You have to choose three, or to make it fair, you can choose two and two, right? In the group, in the little couple. So you are going to discuss why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience as a customer, okay? So discuss with your couple three or four of the seven R's and I need you to write down, I need you to write down why, why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customers, okay? You are going to give me reasons. You are going to give me reasons why the seven, with the R's that you choose are so important, okay? So it is not just like, um, because of yes, teacher, because of no, because it's good, because it's bad. No, I need you to give me reasons to state your position about it. Why do you consider that this uh, R that you choose is important? That's why I sent you this on the WhatsApp group in the morning, right? Because I knew that we were going to use it. Se los envié en la mañana porque sabía que lo íbamos a ocupar ahorita. So I need you to choose three or four of these uh, seven R's. And I need you to explain why they are so important for uh, the logistics management, okay? You can say, ah, yes, teacher. Uh, the right time is important because 
uh, you need to be very formal with the client and they are expecting for you to be on time all the time and for you to be uh, conscious about the different necessities of picking up a product, et cetera, et cetera. So you have to tell me why is this important? Why for the right price? Because if you give products on the right price, for sure the customer is going to come back to buy you more, et cetera, et cetera, right? What is the importance of the right product? What is the importance of the right customer? Condition, quantity, place, time, and price. I need you to choose three of these seven and tell me from your point of view, why are they so important, okay? So I am going to send you right now to work with your couple and you are going to discuss which ones do you want to choose? And then you have to develop your point of view. What is your side about? Okay, so any question? Do you have any question about what we are going to do right now? Uh, yes? No. Can you repeat the, the answer, please? Why, why are they so oh. important? Here, this one. Okay. You have to choose three of the seven R's and discuss why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer. Okay, you are going to write down the importance of the ones that you are going to choose. Okay, you are going to be in couples. Van a tener, van a estar en parejas. Hoy no van a estar en grupo, van a estar en parejas. Okay, so we are going to go and work right now. I think it's going to be only one group of three. Let me see, yes, only one group of three and then the other ones are cups. Okay, my dear class, let's go to the groups. I am going to be stopping by the groups. I am not going to interrupt you, just to visit you and to see if you have any question, okay? Let's go. How many time, teacher? I am going to give you 10 minutes for this. Okay. Okay, I am going to go like one minute per group <laughs> for me to go one minute per group, but you're going to have 10 minutes to develop the point of view, the discussion. So it needs to be something settled, okay? Ya como chicos de intermedio cuatro que son ustedes, no me van a dar una respuesta de, yes, teacher, because it's good. Because it's good for the customer. Ah, teacher, because the right is right. Now, right, you have to give me a settled answer, okay? So let's go and develop this exercise. And when we come back, we are going to share it with everybody. Let's go and do it. Okay, accept my invitation. There you go. Hello, Jose Rodrigo. Hello, Rodrigo, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. We are working in couples and we are discussing a little bit about the importance of the seven R's. So, uh, you are going to, I am going to send you in a moment with your couple and you have to choose three out of the seven and you have to tell me why this specific thing it's important. For example, here we have the seven rights that I send you in the morning and you are going to go and work together and you are going to discuss which one or which is the importance of each of them. Why is it important to give a right product to the customer? Why is it important okay. to give the right quantity? Why is it important to be at the right time in the right place, right? So you are going to have the chance to work on this with your couple and your couple is right here. Hello, Marlene. Welcome. And taking advantage of this one, I'm going to call the attendants, Marlene and Nicole. And for sure, Mr. Jose Rodrigo. 
Thank you. I have your attendance already. Okay, let's go to work. I am going to create your room. And okay, okay. I am going to assign you here. Here we go. Okay. No, teacher. Hello. Uh, Tell me. We have a problem. What happened? Because we don't understand what we have yeah, to do. Okay. Hello, Tatiana. I take I take advantage to call your attendance. Hello, Tatiana Michelle. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Present. I had I had problem with Zoom. I had to do all the pro all the process for a start the Zoom and I have many travels with that really so, and yeah. um i mean when with the app it's the problem yes but with the meeting you don't have any issue no it's right hard. now i don't have any problem but when i start uh, it was like a first time really what yes. a first thing i think you have to you have to delete everything i mean from scratch and then you have <clears> to set it up again you have to uninstall it and then you have to install it again. Hey, what a good picture, the one that I am checking on your house. You see the teenager cleaning the house. Ah, it's my song. <laughs> good, good. It's good that you're helping your mother. Congratulations. La teacher lo manda felicitar. en inglés? Thank you. You're welcome, honey. <laughs> hey, Le gusta. Le gusta. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he, he has a very beautiful voice. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, I had a uh, problem uh, with Zoom yesterday. Ah, uh, really? Equal. Uh, um, I know print report uh, manual. Oh, really? So uh, yeah, it, I, I don't really, maybe yesterday it was because of the rain, the problems that we had with the meetings and with the connection and the internet and all this, right? But it was because of, of the rain. So what are we going to do? As we started a little bit late with all of you, I was discussing what we did yesterday, that yesterday we were talking about the seven arts of logistics, right? We were talking about the right product, customer, condition, quantity, place, time, and price. And what we are supposed to do in the group, in the couple here, it's to choose three and to give me reasons. Why do you consider this is important? And you tell me, wait, teacher, to have the right product is very important because that is the face of your of your company right for sure that it's the first thing that the customer is going to see and for sure if the customer receives the right product is going to be happy with the company and it's going to continue buying more and it's going to be a very loyal customer right that is the first thing to have the right product what is the importance of giving the right quantity what is the importance of delivering things in the right place at the right time on the right price. So you have to choose three of the seven R's for you to develop the importance of them, okay? I need you to discuss together and to choose the three that you are going to talk about and to give your point of view why they are very important. So that's why I send you this image to your WhatsApp group in the morning so you can take, um, you can take ideas from there, okay? So I am going to give you some minutes for you to work on this and I am going to come back in a moment, okay? Okay, okay teacher, thank Let, you. Let's work. Because sometimes I, I have had bad experience with that, that I pay for something and, and when the product arrives, it's another. It's awful, man. So for so the right 
product is okay for number three. Okay. The right, right? The product. The product. The product. The product. The product. The product. The O sea, vamos a elegir entonces Red Product, eh, Red right Time y Red Price. Right Price. Y Red Price. Red Price. Ok, Red Price. Ok. Price. 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 Ok, Price. price. Right. Thank you. Price. Price. <laughs> price. Price. Right. Price. Right. Right. Price. Right. Price. Price. Ok. You say. Price. 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 Like price, price smart. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that one is price smart, right? Yes. That is the name of the company, right? Price smart, mm. right? Price smart. <laughs> okay. Okay, so go ahead, work, develop your points of view. Take notes, please. Okay, anoten, vean, no van a llegar ahí a la presentación. Uh, I don't remember what we talk about. Uh, my friend Carlos is going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like in, in high school, right? Que se paraban en bachillerato y decían, hola a todos, buenas tardes, bienvenidos, gracias por estar en esta presentación. Y después la gran introducción, my friend Carlos is going to talk. <laughs> and then you, you run away. Okay, so develop your your um, your ideas why these things are important. Okay, go ahead. I'm okay. going to go and check another group. Okay. For him. <laughs> no recommended. No recommended. Yes. Okay. Uh, Marlene, Nicole, please, you can share it with us. Uh -huh. Okay, um, is a uh, right quantity. Quantity, okay. Um, is the um, importance, I, I think, of the term, um, the right quant quantity, is refers to uh, uh, procuring a sufficient uh, amount of product and to meet the um, demand and lessen the the excess stock by forecasting demand and inventory management. Um, insufficient quantity can lead to stock out uh, with low credibility in sales uh, as well as goodwill. And it is. Uh -huh. Now mm -hmm. I want that, but in Marlene's words. <laughs> in your in your own words, why do you think that the right quantity, right? You chose the right quantity, Marlene. Um in my workplace? No, is... no, no. I mean right now. The one that you chose, right quantity. Oh uh, yes, yes. Okay, so tell me, Marlene, why do you consider as a customer that uh, receiving the right quantity of a product is important? Um, ¿Por qué sería importante para ti? O sea, como desde tu punto de vista, ¿por qué uh -huh. lo consideras importante? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué es importante Because... recibir, recibir la cantidad ofrecida, por ejemplo? Uh -huh. Because it's the, um, come on, it's for, it's, it's for the, I, I am the price, price, I, I receive the, the same, the product, the quantity is como, que vale la pena, or. It is worth. Uh -huh. It is worse. No, and worse. No, worse. No, <laughs> worse is <laughs> peor. You say worse, and let me let me share it here for you. And it's here what? when you say it's worse. And here I worse. have it. It's worse. Worse. Uh huh. Worse. It's worse. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so imagine that you go, for example, and that you go to the supermarket, right? And you are mm -hmm. looking for orange juice, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have all the orange juice, it's $4, right? All the bottles are $4, but there is a bottle that it's very small, right? Mm -hmm. It's very small and it's very horrible. And it has the $4 as well. But there is this big box of orange juice that it's very delicious, right? Naranjito juice. And it is also mm -hmm. $4. It is mm -hmm. a better quantity. It's uh, for sure, it's a bigger, a bigger, a bigger box. It has better quality. It is more delicious, right? It's going to be for all your family. And that's why you say, why is it important to receive the right quantity because you might say mm, no this one is very small for four dollars this mm -hmm. might be in one dollar so it's like no i am not receiving i am not receiving something good for my money so this is important and then what are you going to think of a, a naranja mala juice and you're going to say, no, I am not going to buy this anymore because they are very, okay, they are taking my money and they are not giving me the correct quantity or the correct quality. But what? Naranjito, naranjito box. It's very good. It's good for my family. It's delicious and everything. And it's one for the 15 days of my month. Good quality for naranjito. Okay, yeah. so all the Salvadorians are going to go and buy naranjito no naranja mala no, that's the importance of the right quantity because the customer is going to be happy with what he or she is receiving mm -hmm. for the price that he or she is paying right so, sure. that's the for, the, for the example for the right quantity is the bag of snacks definitely <laughs> <laughs> now that they are 15 cents or how much are they now 15. Right now it's 15 cents. 15, 15 cents. And you open it and it's like air. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and food. Ten. Uh, yeah. Ten units. Oh. Only, only, only 10 churritos there. No, ten. that's not, that's not from God. It's more air. It's more air in the bag. <laughs> yeah, you buy, you <laughs> buy. There are new <laughs> snacks with extra size. <laughs> extra sizing, extra both cost. The coat is, both the coat is more. Extra coat. There you yeah. have your examples. More. Okay. Continue developing your examples. You can have that one as a very good example of your product. Okay. <laughs> so I am going to check the other groups. So okay. continue okay. discussing. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Marlene. Bye. The right quantity. Hello. Which ones are you developing? Which which ones are you developing? Right, what? What are you doing? Uh, at the right place, at the right time, uh, at the right product. You say right, right, right. And you're normal. In my case, a right product and a right time. Okay, right product and right time. And I need you please to tell me why they are so important. Okay? Develop the importance. En un, en un parrafito ahí, saquen la importancia de cada uno. ¿Cuál es la importancia del, del precio correcto? ¿Cuál es la importancia de la cantidad correcta? Okay? I was, I was talking with another group and they were talking about the snacks. And they say, hey, teacher, now 15 cents and you don't receive the quantity of product. For the price. <laughs> for the price that you are paying right even when it is 15 cents but they used to be 10 or 5 i don't remember how much were they before cuánto valían los 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 estos snacks antes isn't over it was 10 cents so now now it's 15 and they don't have anything and they were like hey, my product so that is a very good example. <laughs> you don't like, uh, yeah, for sure. Now I don't like them anymore. They are very expensive. <laughs> or it's like when you when you go for the pupusas and they say they are not 40 cents anymore, they are 60 cents. And then you are like, hey, for one pupusa. 
dollars. Uh, yeah, but they are very small. Uh -huh. uh, they are the little coins. So develop the importance, okay? Saquen ahí en unas, en unos, en unas líneas, escojan tres nada más, pónganse de acuerdo, escojan tres y saquen la importancia, okay? Okay. okay? Let's work on that. I am going to go to my next group because I am missing like four. Okay. okay. Boo. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did you finish working on the importance of your three rights? Um, yes, teacher. Yes, Which teacher. ones did you choose? I have games. I go ahead. Don't work. Okay. I have right condition and right price. And Olga? I choose the right front and the right uh, quantity. Okay, now discuss as a couple and uh, on which ones are you going to be presenting? Which are the three that you are going to be presenting on, on, on the class, okay? And what okay. is the importance of the three of them? Okay, I'm going to go back in a second. Continue working on that, please. Okay. Spot. Or you can say, hey, or packages should be should be in a clean condition, and to receive also in the right time and the right price. But we have the other. Uh, they take care. They take care of the packages and the yeah. and documents. Mm -hmm. Well, the main here, here. Because documents yeah. or packages are, uh, I received, received, um, report is a, a right price teacher. Oh, yes. <laughs> For sure, they, they sent everything in the right price and the right condition. It's correct. Okay, so you, which rights did you choose? Which rights did you decide? Con cuáles tres se quedaron? The right condition, the right time, and the right price. Okay, very good. So write down the importance of them because we are going to present in a moment, okay? We're going to go back to the, to the groups in a second. Finish writing the importance of this one, okay? okay. Because we are about to finish. Las semanas porque no se habían completado. Yo sí. Ajá. Hello, hello. We are speaking about you. Oh, really? Yeah. Silvia, so, tell me about the the other levels she she did here. Oh, really? How how were they? Yes. Silvia? ¿Cómo eran? <ríe> Cuénteme. <ríe> y todas. De las. Ay, Internet, ¿cómo en? <ríe> El level. Es very difícil. Um, because only speaking English and, and don't help you. Oh, really? Ay, my God. No, como usted. Ah. usted <laughs> si no, no, estás en español y, y usted entiende, pero se toma el tiempo también de cuando nos mira como con dudas, no. quizás, ¿verdad? <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's good. Well, I, I, well, I really, I really believe that if you are learning something, it has to be learned, right? Not just because you want to go over the topic and that's it, right? It's like if you want to learn something, mm -hmm. it has to be that the students got the idea, they developed it, they understood. For sure, you can move on, right? It is not like, ah, ya entendieron, no entendieron, ah, whatever, let's continue. 
and that's not the purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me which were the <laughs> R's that you chose. ¿Cuáles fueron las R's que escogieron? Who's the right quantity, the right condition, and the right cost. Okay, good. Very good. We're going to... Do you have the importance of the three of them? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go. I am going to go with room number seven. That is the last one that I am missing. And we're going to go back. Okay, so you have one minute to prepare, practice. And we're going to go back to the main session in a minute. Hello. Hello. Did you finish uh, discussing your three R's? Yes. Um, yes, we are um, writing uh, in the chat okay. our reasons. Okay. Remember to take them, okay? Because when I close the rooms, the chat disappears. <laughs> okay. Guardenlas. Okay. Keep oh, them, yes, okay, copy keep the, yes, copy them because the last time was like, teacher, I had my presentation in the chat and I cannot do anything with that. So please okay. copy, copy and paste or screenshot it because the, then it might be a problem, okay? Okay. okay. So uh, you have it all complete. We're going to go back to the main session right now. Okay. Finish oh, discussing. No okay. <laughs> we are going to go back to the main session in one minute. Okay. Finish, okay. organize, okay. organize how you are going to explain it, who is going to start, and all that. Okay. 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 okay very good. So I am going to, uh, let me see. I am going to close the rooms right now. Hello, hello. Okay. Welcome back. Okay, good job, good job. Welcome back. Thank you, class, for working with your couple. Okay. And we're back. Excellent. Let me see. I am going to organize this. Thank you students for working with your couple and thank you for developing the topics. Right now I am going to ask a couple of couples to present. I am going to ask Jose Carlos, Jose Rodrigo and Nelson to tell me a little bit of what you discuss and what were the R's that you chose. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Uh, and right time. I'm sorry. <clears throat> right time. Uh, for me, the time for me, the time for the delivery was a uh, a product is important. It is a way to win customer and provide good service and the customer is a satisfaction. It's satisfied, uh huh. Okay, to place a, a new order, delivery time is, is, it is important in, in business. Okay. Okay. Listen. The next one. Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Mr. Jose Rodrigo. He's there, he's there. 
Por ahí lo tengo, pero no sé si nos oye. ¿Nos escucha, Rodrigo? If not, Mr. José Carlos. Ok, thank you. The, I choose the right price. Well, so for me, the right price is so important because sometimes the price should be according to the product. Even, but even so, I was reading an article that said, don't overprice, but never underprice either. Because when a product feels too cheap, the first thing that springs to my mind is a lower quality. Also, overpricing leaves customers feeling up. That's why, but the reason why we should keep it in a place. Okay, I have you back. I have you back. Continue. Yo creo que por ahí está ahí está, that, yeah. Yes. You know, we for Rodrigo. Mr. Rodrigo, remember when you say uh, the past tense, you say I chose. I chose. I choose, it's present. I chose, right? I explained you yesterday. And important. It's important. Or some people say important, but it's like, no, right? It's important. It's important. And the importance, the importance of this. The importance. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mr. Rodrigo, can you listen to us? Yes or no? Señor Rodrigo, Señor Rodrigo, nothing. <laughs> if not, we're going to go with group number two. Thank you, group, for sharing a little bit of what you discussed. Very good. Hello, hello. Hey, Rodrigo is here. Ah, por ahí apareció ya de último. Yes. Hello, hello. Tell, tell yes. me, Rodrigo, tell me. Yes, we can listen to you. Hear me, sorry. Uh, the right product. For me, it's important the product with a high demand for the product any month of the, of the year. This is a closing according to the time of year. Delivered to call a product that the customer had purchased. Had purchased. Good. Right? Uh, that's very important, right? Because it has to go according to what the customer has purchased. That's a very yes. good the that's a very good reason. Thank you, Rodrigo. Now we are going to receive Marleni and Rocio. Okay. Emmanuel. Yes, Emmanuel. Oh, or Dios. Ah. Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. It's because, it's because I was, I already created the other groups. Don't worry. Ya me lo había robado para otro grupo. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, about me, I chose the right condition because I think it's very important uh, because the customer expects your product uh, to work well. So if the product doesn't have the, the best condition, the product will not work correctly. And I think it's the most important. And I, we talk about some examples. Um, for example, um, I imagine you buy an iPhone and you know the, the camera of the, the iPhones are, are the, the, the best well, the, the, the camera. So uh, you receive your iPhone and the camera don't work because someone uh, uh, hit the phone, <laughs> the, the box, and you, o sea, you like a customer, you will be very angry. <laughs> For and sure. You, yeah, and you will then be able to To, to pay for that and about the, the condition, the right condition. Very good job. Yes, for sure. If the camera doesn't work, you're going to be very angry at the end and you are not going to buy anything else anymore. Thank you, Rocio. Marlene or yeah. Manuel, go ahead. Okay, uh, right time, teacher. I chose right time. Uh, we, we discussing in the group that this this uh, rs is 
the is very very important uh, because in in your house in my house in in the most of companies my god uh -huh. what uh, how many times do you need to to deliver the shipment um, if i if if i be a seller uh, I, I i i need to to give the the time the short time for for the for the products in the in the delivery and i i and i i give uh, one example in in my case i i i bought uh, a motorcycle. Uh -huh. uh, as, as you can as you can know, this this uh, article or this vehicle, all the vehicles uh, need to to have the documents. Yes. The, the identification. The, uh -huh. for, uh, for example, the the placa. The plaque. The plaque, and the. What do you say, tarjeta de circulación? Well, that, that would be like the... The car. <laughs> the car? Is that the, 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 the car? car. The identification. The ID card. The ID card, okay. But uh, if, if I I don't, if I I don't have this, these two... Documents? Documents, I, I, I don't, I don't to to drive these vehicles. I can't drive. You say I can't. I can't. Okay, and I. I you you I can drive. drive them, but it's not permitted. <laughs> uh, it's correct, but no. In my case, I I like I like drive in orders in orders for the law for the law. Um, Obeying, following the rules. You I like avoid, to follow the I rules. Avoid, I avoid a uh, multa. <laughs> <laughs> you avoid tickets. You say um, I, I avoid ticket. Okay, and I I ask for the seller how many time? How many? How time? much time? How, how much time? How much time is uh, for for the article and the document and the ID? Um, she told me one month. Mm -hmm. I I I I I say it's okay. And right now I I waiting for. You are this. still waiting. Oh my god! Yes, I still <laughs> it, waiting. It so has... the time the time is correct. Okay. She told me tomorrow. Uh, today I call. I call. I call. You her. call her. <laughs> And and it has been it has been eighty four years now. <laughs> no 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 tomorrow uh, or 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 Thursday. Okay like good. If not you will say like I'm pasado ochenta y cuatro años desde que compré la moto. <laughs> no no no. <laughs> and it's I okay. haven't received it. You say like okay yeah. So that's the importance of the right time. Okay. And Marlene, do you have something to add? Um. I add uh, for the right quantity. The right um, quantity, uh huh. As is important because the customer sees um, that is the worth the price to pay yes. for a product. That it that the quantity is correct for what is being taken in their purchase. Yes. And pay little for a small product and pay more for something that is bigger. Very good job, right? You have to receive exactly for what you are paying. And uh, I, ha I have just, I just have a correction. And just say like, if I be a seller, if I like, if I am the seller, right? Oh, if okay. I am the seller, and oh. uh, I think Manuel also mentioned uh, the short time possible. Is it like the shortest time possible? Mm -hmm. And I think. 
just that. Okay, thank you, Marlene, for your, you. your point of view. And thank you for the group for its participation. Jorge Vilma, please. Hello, teacher. Go ahead, hello, hello. We are talking about uh, right condition. And uh, I consider it's very important to, to the customers to get that you are expecting to get. Mm -hmm. If you look something, you, you want to pay for that. I have some experience with, uh, uh, some time ago, I, I bought uh, a shoes online. A pair a of shoes. shoes. A pair of shoes for for run. Uh, okay, but, for running. Uh huh. But when the product uh, come arrived, arrived, uh, uh, the product has or, or had some scratches, and I don't like the, the product. They were used. I, they I were do. second hand. <laughs> I use the product, but I don't like. I I some kind of angry, disappointed, uh, disappointed. But uh, that's that's the life. <laughs> yeah, but you pay already for that, so there's no way out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but the product was in the United States. Ah, that's why. So it was an international delivery. Yes. And it was not in the right condition. Yeah, yes, definitely. I was expecting some different that I received. Something different, right? Good. Different. What about Bilma? What was the one that you are going to explain? Yvette. Ah, Yvette, Yvette. You don't like Bilma, right? No, no. Uh, my mother's name. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Yvette. Um, Sorry. <laughs> now, now I, I will remember it. Yvette. Um, I choose. Uh, I chose the right price. I chose the right price. Tell me. It is important to me because um, I um, a budget. Uh huh. Uh, I. If I according uh, to a budget with uh, the um, how can I say uh, vendedor <laughs> uh, to the seller the customer uh, to the customers uh, uh, I expect to uh, uh, respect the budget. Okay, you uh, expect to respect the budget for sure. And in, for example, in if um, in the mechanical workshop, I I go to my car, um, and I I ask how, how much, um, and the mechanical say um, I don't know again. Uh, I um, I said uh, later. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's not from God because you need to know how much you are going to spend, right? Yes, yes. Um, I, uh, I need to need I need to know before uh, uh, get to work. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So yeah. It, it is the, that is the importance of the right price and the right budget, right? For you to be clear about what you are going to spend, how much you are going to um, leave aside for that, and for sure, how much you are going to spend on the product that you are trying to get. So Bilma, that's a yes, very good point. Course. It's a very good point, the budget, that is something important. Excellent. So let's go with Chan Chan Chan, Danny and Norma. Okay. Okay, Danny. Uh, um, the, I choose for the price. I chose. 
Le voy a poner plana a todos, le voy a poner plana. Ay, yo. Es que no confunde, No, because choose is the hello, Christian. Welcome. A choose is present, right? I need to choose one, you say. But if it's done, you say I chose. I chose. Okay, go. And for the price, because it is the best manner of the ensure the good job, the good buy. Uh, my wedding is by a motorcycle and uh, I was uh, good for the go go the go of the job uh, and the and my motorcycle is uh, on the navy is very little uh, and also uh, my helmet because I am little. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, it's okay because it fits the customer. <laughs> so it says like, it is the best manner. No, it is the best way. It is the best uh, way, not the best manner. Okay, the best way. Porque pensamos en la mejor manera, right? In Spanish, it's like, but it's yes. the best way. The best way. And let's see. What about, let me see your partner, Norma, Carolina, what do you think? Yes, um, uh, I'm sure. Uh -huh. uh, the right product and my experience with uh, the correct product, I, it was not good with a client. So the client received the product that was not the one he had ordered. We had to return to the warehouse again for the correct product. The client was upset but received. It was lost time, money, and the discourse of the customer who may, um, who may or may not return at the store again. Yes, indeed. Right, that is the main problem, right? When you receive something that it's incorrect and that is exactly, but contrary to what you were expecting, you are not going to go back to that place. It happens with this type of hamburgers that you see on the screens, right? Have you ever seen the hamburgers on the commercials? And when yes. you go for the hamburger, they are very small. Little. Is this is this similar yes. to this? You say, and then you show the one on the example, and it's like it is what it is. If you want it, it's okay. If you don't want it, give it back. Good example. And for example, like the ones that you get in the supermarket. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it is like not, it, that is not a very good experience of the client, right? But even if you complain, they don't do much or they don't do anything about it. They say like, uh-huh, that's it. And they, it's, there's no solution for that. So that's a very good example, uh, Miss Norma. What about Claudia and Olga? What are your um, examples? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello. In my case, I chose the right route. I think it's so important because the client found he was looking for and company get more profit profit because he will come back. In my case, I have a bad experience with the company of internet service. Uh, in that occasion, <laughs> I don't have the complete service. I didn't have. I didn't have the complete service and they charged me the the same bill ah. and then i had to file a claim but for them to answer my call i had to wait almost for two hours <laughs> i one day yeah. i waited for two hours and i was like <laughs> in Come this on. kitchen i I have very angry. I was, you say, I was very angry. I, I was. You I were, was very angry. You were very angry. Very good. <laughs> yes, and I hate that. This, 
Yes, and this experience for me is about the price. The right price is is about the right product. Yes, the right price, the right product, and the right quantity, right? And the right condition, yeah. but because they were sharing and they were charging a condition that was not received. So that's not, mm -hmm. that's not okay. Claudita, yes. what is yours? Uh, I show <laughs> right condition. Uh, the product should reach the customer in good condition. The logistic department is obligated to ensure that the products are properly packed and shipped in the right condition to the customers. And the second is the right price. Pricing is crucial for companies as it is the aspect that determines the profit or loss that sustain. And an appropriate price point not only ensures the company profit, but also help gaining competitive position in the market. Uh, I have an example. I always buy things in AliExpress. Uh -huh. So they have they come into the country with right condition. They always came to the country with right condition. It with the right price, but they don't have right in the right time. <laughs> they yes. always have to take a long, 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 long how to wake a, a very long time <laughs> yes i know one day i bought a, i bought some things there and i hope I, I think that i i already i had already forgotten about the product when they came to my door and they said like i have something for you from the mail and i was like what from the mail it, because it has been like a year of of when at the time when i asked for it and said like hey I got it right and I ordered one of these dinosaur spoons, right? Una de esas cucharas de dinosaurio que ponen a sopa. Have you seen them? And the dinosaur is like uh, upstairs on the, on the soup. But I had forgotten that I had already asked for it. And I was like, hey, my, my spoons and everything. My spoon. <laughs> and on the, on the picture, they look very big, but they were very small. It was just for the, like for the plate. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I imagine them in the in the big in the big bowl of soup, right? Yo las imaginaba en la olla, but no, it's on the on the on the bowl Play. only. But they were they were very beautiful. So <laughs> I have the experience. Thank you, Claudia, for the example of uh, the right condition, the right price, and for sure the right product. And let's go with Mr. Miguel and Tatiana. Okay, teacher, uh, we choose those. Uh, those. <laughs> <Tarea. laughs> plana, plana. <laughs> and I was and I was thinking, I was thinking on that. I have to say the right form, <laughs> the right word, the right grammar, the right pronunciation. I will create my rights on English. <laughs> and I forgot. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, we decide. We decide to shows uh -huh. uh, in that case right. when you say wait we decided to choose uh, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay continue, continue i don't remember what what decide <laughs> yeah um if you want miguel you can start and uh, miguel miguel save the day please <laughs> <laughs> Se puso nerviosa, Tati, hombre, sálvela. Sí, Miguel, sálvela. Where is Miguel? Where is Miguel? Is right there. Hey, no, me dejó. No, he's right here. Ah, ya lo vi, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Ya, así se hace la chambra. Toma. Go, Miguel. Relax. Uh, the right product. Uh, for me, it is very important uh, to choose the right product and prepare to offer uh, uh, to our customers uh, because uh, we have to, to think like uh, a visionary and focus on the market. Uh, uh, this is very competitive. And second, uh, for me, the right play, uh, we must uh, be very thoughtful in terms of the points of selling 
because it, it depends uh, on which or product it will be sold. Okay, that's a very good thing, right? The right product. And Tati? And the right price, uh, determining the right price for a product or service is one of the most important elements, I think, in a business. Because if the price is too low, uh, we will lose in the profits. But if the price is too high, uh, maybe we are going to lose the potential customers or the, the customers that in that in the business, I think. Yes. That's why it's important, the price. The price is really important because there someone someone mentioned it before that if you like underprice or overprice the product, it can be beneficial or it can be uh, controversial for you because if if it's too expensive, they're going to say, no, that's too much money. But and, I'm going to, and I'm going to look for a better option. Exactly. So, so you are going to change and you're going to say, no, yeah. they, they sell it uh, uh, cheaper, even when the quality it's lower, it's, right? It's not good. And say like, yeah, si se ven aguantadores, me lo voy a poner. And they buy the jeans and... <laughs> yeah, or, or but maybe they were we cheap. Decide, we decide to buy something very cheap, cheap, but, but it's just the the lifetime is maybe it's, for a month or maybe it's too short the lifetime too short. of the product. So I think it's, mm -hmm. yes. Well, the good, the best example. The, the definitely, the best example of this is the batteries. Yes. The batteries, like if you go and buy the cheap batteries, then you use them for like 10 days and they die. But if you yes. buy the expensive ones, I mean, they can list, uh, they can, you can have them at least for a month, right? But then you are having the remote control, like, <laughs> because it's not working. Uh -huh, but you bought the 20 batteries for $1. <laughs> Yes. And then you are changing and changing. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Diana and company. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Classmates. Um, we chose. <laughs> yes. The right quantity, the right condition, and the right cost. I'm going to talk about the right quantity. Um, we think that is important because you need to know that what you're buying is like the publicity they gave to you. And if you order for quantity, they cannot give you false advertising. Very good. And Sylvia. In the uh, in right condition for, for uh, is necessary that as a customer, as a consumer, you need know that you are buying in the contract. For example, in my work, uh, the the telephonic service is with Tigo, but in the offer was for redes ilimitadas, uh -huh. but only give five gigas, uh -huh, five and gigabyte. the signal uh -huh. is very bad. <laughs> yeah and you are like you are like yeah yeah it works and it doesn't work at all right and it's very bad so the service is not what it was offered right <laughs> so that is that it's a problem definitely okay Silvia very good example very very good example and let me see uh -huh. were you going to add something else uh, the right the right cost uh -huh. uh, for uh, it's important because the client have a uh, estimate for buy, and if you not give the right price, the client doesn't return to your business. Yes, it it never goes back. Yes, and about that, we also thought that sometimes what we buy is with a lot of effort, so you deserve a good product. Indeed, 
right? If you do your best effort to get something, for sure you deserve to get the best. Thank you, group. Thank you very much. Let's go with Mr. Juan de Dios and Rosa. Or did I mention you already? No, right? No, no go ahead. Teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. No. You didn't ya mention. Estaban, ya estaban felices. Ah, se pasó. Ese. Yes. Yeah, but no, no, no. You forget it. I am <laughs> taking notes. Don't worry. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, teacher. I can start with, well, I chose the right food. I think that is important because when customers find a product that they trust, and I choose the right product and the right condition. So, uh, when a person find a product that they like, they trust, and they they return they return to buy it, and they recommend to the to other person the product. Right? For example, I had a, an app that is uh -huh. was new for me, and it's an app that you can buy a medicine. Ah, uh, so yes, yes. Uh -huh. I the first time that I bought. I remember that I, that I was with the. Uh, with I was the, doubting, you say. Yes, I was doubting that they they um, they give they gave me the the right medicine and and the time that they going to take to to give me the medicine. Right? Uh -huh. But when I when I saw that the people came to my home and to my house and give me the product and the price was less than the other is the, than the than the competition than the other uh, i forget the, that the other drugstores drugstores yes that the other drugstore i love that that app so since then i used to buy all the medicines there hey that's good i i was doubting about it but now i am going to use it <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to do a commercial about that. No, no, no. App, I, but... I know, I know which one is. <laughs> you can send it to the WhatsApp group. <laughs> good, okay. very good. Thank you very much, Rosita. Uh, Juan. Okay. Um, I chose the the right time and right cost. Uh, the right time. Thank you very much. Continue, continue. Ah, to, ya vi. You love gossiping, huh? You were like hmm? listening to what Manuel was saying, huh? Continue, Juan. Continue, Juan. Okay. The right time is important because a lot of products are raw material for the factories. If it are uh, delayed affects the supply chain uh -huh. and ensuring their pro their process are stopped. Uh, so other products are uh, are uh, don't don't can be made. Cannot be made. Don't can. can Nah, nah, nah. Cannot, cannot, cannot be made. Be made. Okay. Um, the customer won't be are going to be affect affected affected. And, uh huh. And the product won't be shipment and delivered on time. Okay, that's a very good thing, right? And I, I really like that you said, like, if one thing goes wrong, it's going to affect the supply chain. Supply right? chain. And mm -hmm. for sure, it, that's that's really, like, that's what we are talking about, right? That everything has to be on time because it's like a little, like, it's like a machine. If one thing goes wrong, everything is going to be wrong. So uh, that is a very good tip, right? That you have to be careful about Okay, sorry. Okay. I... The <laughs> second <laughs> is <laughs> the right cost uh, huh? is important because we are in the middle of the pandemic. Yes. <laughs> and an economic, an economic war. So it makes the expensive products and 
a lot of families may budget to save money and pay bill. Yes, they, they are low, low on budget. Yeah. And people are available to, to buy a product that really need. They only at buy the, what they the, need. Uh -huh. At the best price. Um, to the best of my knowledge, the companies before expect a profit for 45 percent. And, and now are working with 30 percent. Yeah, it's a, a lot less than they used to have, right? So they need to be careful about the profit, the money that they have, and the expenses that they are going to be making. Thank you very much, Mr. Juan de Dios. Very detailed explanation. I really liked it. And last but not least, we're going to have Linda and Omar. Okay, teacher. Uh, I miss first... Genoveva as well. Ah, yes. Ah, I, was, I was not missing anybody. Or like, I'm your be <laughs> They say, no, no, no. <laughs> I have it right here. Go ahead. Well, teacher, we consider uh, that one of the most important point, for example, is um, right time. Because uh, as a customer, we expect a good service. And for example, sometimes in the job, we ask for food and we only have one hour for for the to eat. for the lunch for it and is very I don't know we we feel disappointed if if the delivery is late so it's very important to mm, be on time there yes mm -hmm. it is it is really important to be on time and for sure to have these specific uh, prices at the moment that they were offered, right? So yeah. it is it is really necessary to receive what you are asking for. Thank you very much. Ms. Genoveva. Okay, we were discussing three R's, right condition, right time, and right price. Uh, in the right condition, for example, in mailing service, the right condition is important because documents or packages must be received in good order and as expected by the customers since they were handled correctly. In the company where I work, we use a good mailing service company and documents always are in good order. So that's a very good thing, right? If it is a very good a mailing service, for sure, the things are going to arrive in the best condition as yes. possible. Yes. And last but not least, Mr. Omar. Okay. Good evening. Hello. Uh, the right price is very important because they are competitor. It has to be the right price, competitive, um, fair price, etc. It has to have a fair price. We were talking, and that was fun because we were talking about the snacks, right? And the type of things that you receive on the snacks that now they are 15 cents, right? But you receive just a little bit of it. And it's like, come on, that's not the right price, the right quantity for the right customers because we are very loyal to this. But we are not, we, we are not receiving what we are supposed to be receiving for... Uh, for the price that we are paying. So uh, that is something that uh, we need to work on. Thank you very much, my dear class. Christia, what of all the R's that you listen, do you consider the most important? I think for me, uh, the most important is the right condition because I, I, I want to receive uh, the product that I hope that I buy, I bought, I the, the, I, the product that I bought, uh huh. Yes, and that's the reason for me is is very important. And also, I think is really regarding with the right price. Yes. 
Yes, very good, Christian. Very nice. So my dear class, as you can see, I told you today we're going to have a lot of speaking practice and it is very good. Why? Because in some cases you might be very good on grammar. You might be very good on writing, but what happens when they say, okay, give me your opinion about this. And then you are like, mm, I, 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 let me think, let me organize. And it is good, right? It is good that I really like that students get the ideas of the topic, but I really love when students project what they think. I was in a group and I, there was a, a student reading the definition of the, of the R, right? But I say, what is your opinion? What is in your words, right? What do you think about it? Because that is the important, the important thing, the important part of learning English, learning a language. It is that you have the capacity to actually go and develop it on your own, right? That you go and develop the language on your own. So my dear class, let me see. Let me see, I am going to, okay. I am going to ask for something. I need you please to uh, listen and pay attention. I am going to use four different colors. I am going to mention four different colors. And I have, what are going to be the colors? I have white, I have black, I have pink, and I have red, okay? Let me see, I am going to share it with everybody. And let me see, I, I cannot share it with you, but okay, I am going to share my screen then. White, black, pink, and red. Those are my four colors. White, it's going to mean jump. Black is going to mean clap. Pink, it's going to mean dance. And red is going to mean sit, okay? What is the meaning of white? Que significa white? Jump. 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 What is the meaning of black? Clap. 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 What is the meaning of pink? Dance. 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 And what is the meaning of red? Sit. Sit. Sit, okay? So I need you to stand up, please. Stand up from your chair. Stand up, stand up. Stand up from your chair. Go ahead, go ahead. Stand up, stand up. I, my, my ear, okay. Stand up, stand up. I need you to stand up from that chair. My bad teacher. Uh, I my back. Are in the gym I can walk. <laughs> okay, stand up from your chair. Stand up from your chair. Remember that white is going to mean jump. Black is going to mean clap. Pink is going to mean dance. And red is going to mean sit. Okay? So we have, ready? Everybody? Ready? So we're going to go with black, red, oh, white, jump, pink, dance, pink, black, white, I know, pink. Pink, dance, dance, dance. Red, sit down. <laughs> great, 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 great. Okay, black. Black. <laughs> it was like, oh, Jesus. I, 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 teacher, my back. People, Ay, my goodness, my goodness. Si estamos jóvenes, hombre, todavía. What are you doing in the in your classroom? What are you doing in the classroom? Having fun, you say. <laughs> I am having fun and learning. Because in some cases, just by being sitting all the time, you might be like, ay, me columna, you say. <laughs> me columna. <laughs> and then you say like, ay, my back, yes. I hurt the years, right? The good thing is like we are like chicken campero. We are very crunchy. <laughs> All right, we are very crunchy at the moment of moving. But it was good. Black. Ahora ya vengo cuando en la clase le diga black, you have to clap. Clap, 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 clap. 
two blacks. <laughs> blacks for everybody. <laughs> Thank you, students. That was good. Ah, but it, it, it helped you to wake up, huh? You see? It was like, eh, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó qué? <laughs> to go back in track. Excellent. So we were discussing about uh, the important part, right? You as a customer, right? I wanted to share today a little bit about idioms. Have you heard about this before? About idioms? Idiomatic expressions are for sure sentences that you use to mean something else. In this case, for example, I have this couple of examples right here. Mr. Manuel, tell me. I have a, a little example. Go ahead. Of the idioms. Uh, for example, she's in the cup of my tea. She's in the cup of my, my tea. tea. <laughs> I remember I, I saw many, many, many times ago. I and what is the meaning of that? Is when, when I like um, a person. Ah, she's in the, in the cup of my she's tea or she is my tea. cup of tea. Cup of tea. She is my cup of tea. You see, hey, so you, you like it. I, I chose a couple of idioms for today and I have the first one. The first example that I have for you today, it's this one and it is be around the bush, to beat around the bush. And it means to avoid talking about what it's important. Like yesterday on the conversation that she said like, you know, eh, I have to tell you something, but, and, and then you are like doubting and you are like mingling around, but you don't go to what it is important because you avoid talking of what it is important. It happens a lot, right? When it is something crucial and you don't know how the other, per the other person is going to react, you beat around the bush and you say like, okay, okay, to the point, stop beating around the bush because you stop avoiding the topic. The next one, the next one that we have here, it's get your act together. What is the meaning of this one? Get organized and do things effectively. 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 Hey, people, get your act together, hurry up. Is it like get organized and do things effectively? With the platform. <laughs> you have to get your act together for Friday. Get your act together. When we finish the class, you are going to hit the sack. The sack. God, hit the sack. It's like, teacher, I will go and hit the sack. Bye bye. You say, hit the sack, it's to go to sleep. What about uh, your guess is as good as mine? Your guess is as good as mine. Your guess I'm is as good as mine. I don't know. I don't know. It's a long, it's a long way to say <laughs> I don't know. It's a long way, it's a long way to say I don't know. It's like when you say uh, to say ojalá in Spanish, it's like que sea lo que Dios quiera. <laughs> and it is like what? Che, ojalá. <laughs> okay, así sea, right? Your guess is as good as mine. But in this case, you increase your vocabulary. And when you listen to a person saying, it's like, hey, do you know if we are going to get paid tomorrow? Well, your guess is as good as mine because it is not uh, certain that it is going to happen. Could be. It could be, right, Mr. Manuel? Yes, teacher. I remember we, we, we saw... Or we saw a movie. Uh huh. Class. And was there? There were um, a many phrases. This, yes. This type. This they, type. They, these type of phrases are very popular. Yes, in, 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 in many in many songs also in many songs. Yes, exactly like that. They are very popular in English, and it is very similar to what you listen in Spanish. 
Here in Spanish, we say many phrases, but many different phrases to say something different. Do you know idiomatic expressions in Spanish? Necesito tres ejemplos en español que nosotros ocupamos. Mouth, Tras... mouth to mouth. Uh -huh. Mouth to mouth. From mouth, to... but that is in English as well. From mouth yeah. to mouth, it's like, and that's the boca en boca. Por ejemplo, también cuando decimos, eh, cuando hablamos del gato, Ajá. Eh, me he ido la idea, pero dice que la, 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 la quinta pata al gato. <risa> no, no, no. Cuando decimos. Eh, la curiosidad mató al gato. La curiosidad eso, mató eso, al gato. Eso. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So that is a phrase that you say like. Hey, don't ask, don't be curious, don't be yes. nosy. Nosy is like when you want to know everything. It's like, mm, nosy. It's like metiche. That's the yeah. meaning of that yeah. one. Don't be nosy. It's like that you put your nose on everything. Don't be yeah. nosy. Okay, that's another idiom. The next one. Good things come to those who wait. Though good things come to those who wait. It yeah. means... To have patience. patience, to be patient. Is it like, teacher, but I want to know my grade and everything. Be careful, wait a little bit. Good things come to those wait. who wait. Okay? Back against the wall. Teacher, take yes? it easy. Take it easy is an idiomatic expression. Take it easy, yes. Take easy. it easy. It is like, it's a phrase. It's a phrase, a phrase. right? You say, you know, I have my back against the wall. And it doesn't mean that you are like this, right? <laughs> against the wall. It is that you are stuck in a difficult circumstance with no escape. I have my back against the wall. Ready to get the balls. <laughs> and it is very similar. And we have that one in Spanish that they say, estoy entre la espada y la pared, you say. That you are stuck in a difficult situation. The next one is up in arms. It means that you are grumpy or angry about something. You say, "Hi, teacher, I am up in arms right now. It means that you are very angry. I am up in arms, teacher. And yes. Imagínese, imagínese un americano terminando su clase de español y le decimos, tu cara me suena. <laughs> Juguemos play. Ya vengo. Ahorita. Tu guacha es. Cabalito. Cabalito. Well, ahorita is one of the most difficult ones because ahorita is right now, ahorita is later, ahorita in a moment, ahorita right now. So. Teacher, I know, I know other, other idiomatic. Huh? Don't let the car of the bag. Don't let the car? The car, the cat of the bag. What, what is, is the, the meaning of that? The meaning is don't reveal a secret. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't, don't let the cat off the back. Don't let the car on the, the back. Cat, cat, ah, the cat. Cat, cat, cat of the back. Don't back. let the cat out of the bag. Of the back. Oh, hey, what a curious thing. That's my first <laughs> thing listening to that one. I have the next ones here. Can you help me to read the next one, students? Burn your boats. Burn your boats. Burn your boats or burn your burn bridges. Your bonds, bridges. Okay, you, you can have the two of them. Burn your boats or burn your bridges. Bridge. Burn your boats. Burn your bridges. Burn your boats or burn your bridges. Burn, burn your bridges. Destroy something. Burn your Bridge. A bridge. Okay. Un bridge es un puente, right? Que conecta. But if you burn it, for sure, you don't have anything. Doing something that makes it impossible to go back to the original state. Right? It is to burn your boats or burn your bridges. It's to do something that it's impossible to go back. Imagine if you if you ruin 
a business because you did something totally incorrect. You said like, sorry, man, you burn your boats. We cannot do anything to fix this. So you burn your bridges, right? Botaste tus puentes, botaste tus, quemaste tus puentes. It's like, there's possibilities. There's no possibility for you to go back. To break fresh or a new ground. To do something that has never been done before. In logistics and management, you have to come with fresh ideas. To break fresh, right? Because the products, if the product is good, it's going to be sell like hotcakes. You are going to sell your products in a very quick way, right? And you have to stop running around in circles. What is the meaning of this? Putting efforts into something. Putting effort into something that is not a worldwide result. To run around in circles. It's like, what do you use that in Spanish? How do you use that one in Spanish? Darle vueltas al asunto. It's like a circle. Exactly like that. It's like the TikTok, right? Deja oh darle vueltas al asunto. Anyway. El asunto. <laughs> you are there spinning around. Oh by putting God. effort in something that it's not a worthwhile resort. And when you finish your products, you have a good production and a fantastic profit, you are going to be on oh cloud God. nine. That it means that you yeah. are very happy. Very happy. You say, oh, teacher, I am on cloud nine. I got a lot of sales and a lot of money and a lot of profit. For sure, you are going to be very happy. Indeed, right? He so, has a song called like that. Almost 10. On, on cloud nine. nine. <laughs> you are <laughs> almost on cloud 10, definitely. And it's because it's almost 10. That's why we are on cloud nine right now. <laughs> so I have others that you use when you are talking about uncertainty. And we were using these ones yesterday in the conversation, right? They say like, I am of two minds about this. It means that you are doubting a lot. And you say like, mm, no, I don't know. I am not sure. You say like, I am in two minds about this. Yes, Mr. Manuel? And sorry, teacher, the attendance, Right now, <laughs> hey, very Teacher, good. one question. Tell me, one question. Uh, I see there are a lot of uh, expression like like this one. Yes. And um, how how we uh, understand all the <laughs> all the phrases? All well, the, the good. I think the best way to understand these type of phrases, and this is like a quick tip that I can give you, is to watch American series. Yes. It's a very good tip because yes, they use is. them a lot. So you can get and grab a lot of ideas from this. Most when you don't. when you watch American series, put the subtitles in English, not in Spanish. Put the subtitles in English for you to listen to the phrase and also for you to read it. That's a very good tip. Because it is like, imagine how frustrated can an American person feel when they are learning Spanish. Mm -hmm. And they say like, todas estas son frases idiomáticas del español. <laughs> and we have thousands and thousands and thousands of phrases. Exactly, exactly it is in English. Exactly like that. Depending on the department, depending on the mm -hmm. city, depending on the neighborhood. So you have a different, a different type of, of, of phrase that you are going to use. Let me call the attendance before I finish with these, uh, the ones that I am showing. Let me see. I am going to go here. Carolina Yamilet. Carito. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Cristia. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Here teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present. María Genoveva. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present. 
Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Bill Maybet. Here. Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. Present. And Danny Anthony. Present. 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 <laughs> Carolina Yamilet was the only one missing today. Solo no faltó Carito. Este Carito se nos fue ahora. Okay. Let's finish with the expressions that I have here for you. And these were the ones that I was checking on yesterday. It said like, I am of two minds about this, right? That you are doubting. Mm, you don't know. What is the next one? Students, help me to read the next one. I'm not 100% I'm not I'm not sure, sure about it. I am not 100% sure about that. It's like, mm, I don't really know. It might be, it might be not, right? There is some doubting my mind about. There is some doubt in my mind about. It's like, mm, I don't know. So it's something's fishy, you say. Something's fishy. It's like, algo está aquí, sospechoso. Some, there's something fishy. Hey, I have to add that one. There is something fishy. It's like, hmm, hmm. Fishy. fishy is like with the phrase there is something fishy is like hay algo aquí que no me cuadra there is something fishy is like hmm what's happening imagine if you are let me see who uh, who has children here raise your hand if you have children quien tiene niños levante la mano niños niños uh -huh. you, you arrive to your house if you arrive to your house and they are like hi how are you? Yeah. <laughs> Everything is fantastic. I am very happy to see you. Is it like, hmm, mm -hmm. there's something I fishy here. Do that. <laughs> so that is when something is fishy, right? Like, hmm, gracioso. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, right? It's like, hmm, that's curious, right? I'm not sure about it. ¿Cómo te fue hoy? Uh -huh. It's like, ¿qué temprano veniste, mamá? Uh -huh. And you are like, huh, what did you do? That is the first okay. question. ¿Por qué quieres saber? It's just like, I'm of two minds about this, right? You have the first one there. And I am on the fence. The meaning of this one, I am on the fence. You know what's the meaning of fence? ¿Saben qué significa fence? Cerca. Un cerco, right? Un cerco, una baranda, right? I am on the fence, right? That you can fall to any of the two sides. You don't know, right? Like, mm, estoy como haciendo equilibrio entre dos cosas. I am up in the air on this. It's like, I am up in the air on this. It's like, I don't know. I, 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 haven't, un, I haven't understand this in a clear way, right? In Spanish, in Spanish, estoy en el aire. Ah, exactly yeah. like that. Ando en el aire todavía, right? To have second thoughts. To have second thoughts is like, mm, I need to rethink about it, right? I need to have a second thought. It's like, déjame pensarlo de nuevo, right? To get cold feet. To get cold feet, it means that you need to make a decision, right? With a cold feet. It's like, okay, pues ya, para poner los pies en la tierra, ya. That were all at once, right? I want to sleep on it. It's not that you are going to take the problem and you are going to sleep on the problem, right? I want to sleep on it. It's like you want to uh, clear your mind. You're going to sleep a little bit. You're going to think about it. And then tomorrow you can, you can decide. Lo voy a consultar con la almohada. Exactly like that, right? <laughs> and to put some fillers out. To put some fillers out means that, for example, imagine that if I am the team leader and I want to make a decision and you are my team, I am going to say, hey team, I have, um, I have something in my mind that I am thinking. Do you consider that it's good to allow my students to go to sleep right now? What do you think about it? 
Do you think that it's okay if I send my students to sleep right now? Yes, I'm, I'm, yes. I'm agree with that, teacher. Yes, for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. No, I agree I... with that. <laughs> <laughs> we need, okay. we need. Okay. I, they they need it. In this moment. <laughs> <laughs> so that is to have some feelers about because I am going to get your point of view. A hundred percent sure about. I am a hundred percent sure about it, and for sure, when you put some feelers out, it's like you take ideas from other to take your own decisions. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to use these phrases. We are going to use these phrases in the class. So I am going to send you a picture about them. Okay, let me take a picture of this. And I am going to send it to you because we are going to use them in class for an activity. Well, I am not 100% sure, sure about it. Okay, so go and sleep over it. Think about the the class tomorrow and I am going to see you then. I am going to stay only with Mr. Rodrigo for his one-on-one. -on -one. Have a beautiful night, my dear class. And I am going to see you tomorrow for, uh, for you to continue Bye. learning. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a beautiful night. I am going to stay with Mr. Rodrigo. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, Genoveva. Bye, Juan. Bye, Nelson. Hello, Rodrigo. I cannot see you, Rodrigo. I can no see teacher. only your name. Yeah. I can see only your name, my dear. Okay, I am going to stop here. Rodri, I cannot see your camera. I have a bad, bad camera. It's you bad. you uh -huh. have a bad camera. It doesn't matter, but the idea is that you that you show it. Aunque, aunque se vea feita. Don't, it doesn't no, it's uh, un file un archivo que está dañado de la cámara. Oh my God. Ah, correcto, la podemos formatear el fin de semana, pero si lo ve esta semana, pues es que falle, no poderme conectar. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rodrigo. Uh, or something that you can do is that you can connect the camera on the phone and the class on the computer. Okay. Yeah, yes. so that's another solution. Well, yes. Mr. Rodrigo, tell me a little bit about you. How have you felt in classes? What do you think? Uh, I don't know, comments that you have or something specific that you need help with? The page uh, number uh, 16, Manuel. Uh huh. Page number 16 on the manual. Uh huh. 16, the reading. Uh huh. I have it right here. Yes, 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 yes. yes. This one. The world, world sample. Is shooting, shooting, and scheduling. 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 Yeah. Scheduling. It's like when you put everything on time. When you say like a schedule, it's like a agendar, calendarizar, ah. right? That's the meaning of a schedule. Okay. Something uh, else. Temper. 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 And uh, let let's go is a must. Uh -huh. Letting Tem go. Letting go is a must. Letting go is a must. The successful retainers sure. Them sure. Them sure. yes themselves them sure. themselves it's like ellos mismos them sure. themselves them sure. selves. Them sure. themselves okay. you say successful retailers successful retailers analyze these situations as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves over, up over, right? The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Anything else? Successful retailer analyze the special opportunity to learn or versus beating. Beating themselves up over. Beating themselves up over. Uh -huh. 
the more retailers are true are data. Data? Data. The better they are supporting their customer. Their customers. Their customer. 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 Okay. Training is not vital. Okay. It's vital. It's vital. It's vital. Viral. Viral. Uh -huh. Training staff is viral. Training staff. Right. Training staff is vital. Training staff is viral. 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 Uh, viral. viral. Training staff is viral. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees the key the, the key, key the key the key is to invest time and dollar into your employees to reap the rewards to reap the rewards of a strong associates and as a result a strong sales reap the to reap the rewards. To reap the rewards. Of reward. a strong rewards. Rewards of a strong associate. associates. 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 And as a result. And as a result. A strong sales. A strong sales. 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 Okay, lea lo usted ahora. Training the staff is vital. Training the staff is vital. Invest time and dollar into your employer to reap the reward. Strong associate and as a result, strong start. As a result, result. A strong sales. Strong sales. Knowing the competition is a priority. Knowing the competition is a priority. Knowing the competition is a priority. 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 No. Priority. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, a, priority. It's, a, it's a difficult word, like yeah. priority. Priority. There you priority. go. Priority. 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 Okay. This no way the competition is a priority. 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 <laughs> priority. Priority. There you go. Priority. Priority. Knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Stable to recognize and use the trend. This is your opportunity. Your strategies to strategies. 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 New strategies. 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 To compete for sales and other ways, sell, to compete for sale and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retailer marketplace. Very good. And the last one, shifting store inventory is okay. Shifting store inventory, it's okay. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customer trends, 
work with vendors and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Successful, successful. Successful. Successful, successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plan to accommodate their customer versus themselves. Themselves, uh-huh. Themselves. This is the customer, react to customer trend where why vendors are respond to what to customer one. Customers. Custom, customer, customer one. That is how you are able to effectively. Effectively? Effectively by inventory for you store. For, for you your, store. your stores. For your store. Yes. Okay, so you say in this case, remember, scheduling, scheduling, scheduling. time scheduling. limits and deadlines. Prioritizing, prioritizing, prioritizing. E eliminating. Eliminating. eliminating, 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 eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Eliminate, eliminate. eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Very good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. now Mr. Rodrigo, we had well, a very good you, reading teacher. practice. No, for me, it's a pleasure to, to help you with these things. And it is, in some cases, it is difficult to remember all the specific pronunciation, but it is always good that you practice it, yeah. okay? I was mentioning the other day to the other students that reading aloud helps a lot. Cuando agarramos un libro, en inglés obviamente, y nos ponemos a leerlo en voz alta, ayuda un montón. Okay. Because you listen to how you read, and that helps your fluency and your Muy pronunciation. Bien. So, Thank keep, you. keep the tip. Thank okay. you very much, Mr. Rodrigo. You, Anything teacher. else that I can help you with? No, nothing. Okay. okay. Have a beautiful night. night. Enjoy and see you tomorrow. Thank you, Tisha. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.